welcome to Everything Flute. In this video, we are talking about Garibaldi Etude in F major. Now, where to start? I would start looking at measure 25 through 40. And it, it's because it's not like the rest of the piece. The rest of the piece, the beginning, we have lots of triplets. The end, we have lots of triplets. But in the middle, we have these really broad quarter notes. It says grandioso, which means grand, noble. And for grand noble, I would really be solid on those notes, meaning play all the way through the note. Don't just hit it at the beginning and back down slightly. And then also use lots of vibrato to make it sound very full. And <laughs> watch out for the dotted eighth notes followed by the sixteenths. It's very tempting to start swinging them to make them sound like the triplets up above or down below, but they're not triplets. So you really need to think the subdivisions and even play the subdivisions. Meaning when we have a dotted eighth note, try tonguing three sixteenth notes in place of that dotted eighth note. So you really feel how long that dotted eighth note should be. And let's see, measure 25 through 28 and 33 to 36 are the same. So that's one nice thing to be aware of. And then also we have some 16th rests. Really watch out that you're not breathing in between where there's a 16th rest uh, because it starts to slow down the piece and it makes it sound a little bit more detached. So there is a breath mark on the first 16th rest, but it's like a really quick mouth breath. You don't even have to inhale really. It's just open your mouth. If you open your mouth and you're out of air, air is gonna go in already. So, okay, let's try this. One, two, ready, go. Now let's talk about the last eight measures. So the phrasing doesn't actually start on the downbeat, it starts on the second note. And the A, B flat, C, they are actually kind of pickups into a little noodly F scale. It goes up, down, up, down. And then we repeat those two measures. And watch out, because that second and fourth measure is actually the same as other measures sprinkled throughout the piece. I'll try to point them out and be like, hey, this is like the ending. <laughs> and then the fourth and third measure from the end, they're the same thing. So we just go from A down to C in the F scale and back up to F. Then A down to C, back to F. And then we have some beautiful Fs, quarter notes, accented, and a nice fermata at the end. Just make sure to play them nice and full. Kind of like the grandiosa section. One, two, three. Let's talk about measure nine through 16. It's just a four bar phrase repeated. The main difference is there's an added accent the second time you play it and there's an added beat of notes that you play. The thing to really, really watch out for are those staccato eighth notes, well triplet notes, that are piano. You gotta make sure you're really supporting and using fast air and making sure the beginnings of the notes are very clear and similar to one another. A wonderful way to practice this is with breath attacks. 
Breath attacks are when you don't use your tongue, you just use your support and air to start a note. And if you can start a note with breath attacks very softly, well, then adding your tongue in will just, it should be a piece of cake then. So let's give it a try. <laughs> One, two, three. The rest of this etude is actually the same eight measures in three different spots. So the easiest one to find is measure one through eight. So we'll look at that one, but just so you are aware, uh, it's measure 17 to 24 and then measure 41 to the downbeat of 48. So measure one and two are the same as measure five and six. And they just outline an F arpeggio. You have the F, go down to E and F, A, go down to G sharp A, C. <laughs> so that should make it kind of easy knowing, oh, I'm outlining the F arpeggio. Same with the next measure. You start on the A, go to the C and the next beat, and then the third beat is high F. So uh, now <laughs> measure three and four are, they might look confusing, but the main melody here is actually just going down the F scale. E, D, C, B flat, A, G. And we have a note above each of those main melody notes. And it's usually called an upper neighbor tone. And it's just there to add a little embellishment. So it sounds and looks harder than it actually is. But if you know you're just going E, D, C, B flat, A, G, and adding one note higher in the scale and going back to your original note, it's easier to just think of it that way. And you might even want to try doing some scales like that. You know, play around with it. All right, and then we have measure seven and eight. Well, measure seven, that is the same as the measures near the end of the piece. So make sure you look at that and you're like, ah, oh, okay, there they are. And then measure eight, you're just, you have a skip from F to A, and then you're just going up the F scale. You end on a high F. So let's give it a try. One, two, three. Now we're going to play all the way through, once at a slower tempo, once at a faster tempo. For the faster tempo, start to try to think a heavier pulse on the downbeat of the measure. So we're thinking more of a triplet, 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 triplet. And it's almost like you're having triplets, baby triplets within one big triplet. <laughs> so if you're liking these videos, press the like button and don't forget there's a settings button where you can speed up or slow down the tempos. One, two, three.
One, two, three, one, ready, go. Wonderful job with this etude. Hope you really enjoyed it. Had fun playing around with it. Thank you so much for watching Everything Flute. If you haven't subscribed already, let's do it right now. <laughs> Have a good night.